Hello and welcome to the MAC weather page for this Monday, December 5th, and uh, certainly got some wintry weather uh, overnight. We picked up about 2.7 inches of snow here in the Breckenridge area. The headlines, looks like a little bit of drizzle this morning, but then we'll see temperatures warm up to around 40 degrees. That should melt most of the snow. Uh, some areas, though, closer to Lake Michigan, it got four, five, six inches of snow. That'll probably hang around. And then we have some uh, cold air that's going to rush in Tuesday night, and then from Wednesday night right on through the weekend, looks like occasional snow showers. Uh, mainly lake effect, but there's going to be a cold front that will initially come through and that could bring a line of some snow squalls that could bring an inch or so of snow to much of the area. And then I think we're going to want to watch a, a system late in the week and early next week that could bring some more accumulating snow. I think even uh, much of mid-Michigan should pick up around two to as much as five inches of snow between uh, Wednesday through uh, early next week. And again, we have to watch for a couple of systems and it looks like we're going to continue to be active after that. If we look at the normals for the day, our normal high is 38, the normal low is 22, and actually it's 3.4 inches of snow. Uh, we picked up three inches of snow here in the Breckenridge area uh, in 2006. We almost beat that this morning. We had 2.7 inches of snow, and you can see this is at my house here uh, very early this morning as the snow uh, fell. And again, so far for the season, we're up to 4.3, and we'll update the snowfall records uh, uh, up to date here later on this afternoon. And it could be worse, so look at all the snow here. You might want to know where that is. Well, how about Hawaii? <laughs> so a lot of snow uh, fell across that area in Mauna Kea. And again, higher elevations there. But see, you can't always escape to Hawaii and expect it to be better than it is here. And if we look at the uh, nation's uh, highs and low temperatures yesterday, 88 degrees at Tampa, Florida was a high, and minus 13 degrees at my favorite location there, Crested Butte, Colorado. And if we look at the uh, radar map this morning, you can see that uh, area of snow that went through the area now lifting off to the northeast. And we should uh, again have maybe just a few scattered drizzle or a couple snow flurries around for a while this morning. But conditions will become mainly cloudy. And again, our temperatures climb up to near 40. So if you have a trace up to an inch, inch and a half of snow on the ground, a lot of that will probably be melted by later today. And if you want to look at other rainfall, snowfall totals around the state at any time, you can go to the Kokoros Network. And you can see uh, here was my uh, uh, yesterday's reading and then uh, down Blissfield we got a person down there. So certainly uh, many areas you can check for precipitation. If we look at conditions around the area this morning you can see temperatures mainly in the low to mid 30s pretty constant temperature with that uh, ex extensive cloud cover uh, looks like we're pretty uniform. And on the satellite you can see that uh, area of snow from that uh, system that moved off to our northeast now and you can see the lots of moisture gathering off to our south and to our west and that will bring some precipitation into the area I think uh, later on uh, on the day on tomorrow into Tuesday and that will uh, last into Wednesday or uh, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning again the uh, heaviest precipitation with the slow that's coming out of the Gulf it looks like it's going to track up just to the southeast of uh, much of the area but again we got to watch the track on this storm and if there's any phasing right now we don't uh, foresee a lot of phasing with the northern stream system but again if we do that could change things a little bit for tomorrow late into Wednesday morning and we could see some snow and uh, a little bit more in the way of significant rainfall. But right now the best bet is just minor amounts off to the southeast part of the state into the Ohio Valley as where the uh, most ex expansive amount of uh, area of rain and maybe some mixed snow will fall. If we look at the uh, low level wind field you can see where high pressure systems moving in that's going to keep our or turn our winds to the southwest that allow for a little bit milder temperatures today, again, up around 40 degrees. And then we got a northern stream uh, low that's going to move eventually off to the northeast. There's that low in the uh, Gulf of Mexico forming, and that's going to move to the northeast here over the next uh, couple of days. And again, most of the precipitation with that system looks to stay to the south. But again, we've got to watch that very close for Tuesday uh, afternoon into Wednesday morning. And if we look at the weather map this morning, you can see the uh, low pressure system that brought that uh, wedge of uh, snow through the area, it'll move off to the northeast. Here's our northern stream system that's going to move off to the east. And our uh, Gulf of Mexico system that's going to be a pretty good rain producer in severe storms across the deep south. That'll move up uh, towards the uh, southern Ohio Valley. But again, if it were to shift a little farther to the northeast or northwest, we could have more impacts here again for later tomorrow into Wednesday morning. And if we look at the low pressure or the uh, weather map of the day on Tuesday, you can see that uh, low pressure moving to the north. That's going to have a strong cold front. That's going to bring very cold air, along with uh, lake effect snow showers and snow showers, maybe some squalls as this front moves through the area. 
and you can see by Wednesday that front will be well off to the east, will be deep into the cold air, will have wraparound troughs moving uh, from that low pressure system bringing lake effect, uh, quite a bit of it maybe in some areas, especially northwest and southwest lower Michigan. But again, I think all areas will pick up snow showers here from Wednesday night right on through the weekend in different uh, intensities and uh, depending on if we get uh, troughs pivoting around that upper low. And if we look at the uh, snowfall expected over the next 10 days from the GFS, you can see lots of snow up here in the resort areas of northwest lower Michigan. So could be a lot of good uh, skiing and snowmobile uh, weather developing up in that area. And again, that heavy snow extends back in Wisconsin. And if we look at the uh, precipitation amounts from the uh, INSEP here over the next seven days, not a tremendous amount here across much of the uh, lower peninsula, but again, much of this may be in the form of snow once we get into uh, Wednesday night through the weekend. And if we look at the uh, extended outlook, you can see for the 6 to 10 and the 8 to 14 day outlooks, plenty of cold weather are going to be uh, in the upper Midwest back into the northern plains into New England. And as far as precipitation goes, plentiful precipitation here over the next 6 to 10 and the next 8 to 14 day outlooks with colder uh, the normal weather and above normal precipitation certainly looks like we will uh, be picking up some snow here over the next couple of weeks. And if we look at weather watch this morning again, it's getting a little bit more active. We got winter weather advisories off to the northwest, winter storm warnings in parts of northeastern uh, North, North Dakota and northwest uh, Minnesota. Thanks for stopping by and have yourself a great day, a great work week, and 73s to all.